Hello eye tracking community! My name is Michael and in this tutorial we will talk about time to first fixation. On the screen we can see an eye tracking experiment where the participants had to read information from a bar graph. In this case they had to compare the heights of two bars and then state the value of the bar showing the greater value here from the y-axis. On the left side we can see the heat map, on the right side we can see the scan path visualization. If you want to learn more about heat maps and scan paths, please have a look to this tutorial. Time to first fixation means the following. It's the time when an area of interest on the stimulus has been focused on for the first time. So to study the eye movements when people are reading this bar chart, I go to the time to first fixation data source here on the bottom left. I make a right click, say analysis, AOI editor. I select all the participants, I aggregate them and I choose the right stimulus. We are now interested in computing the time to first fixations for the two bars H and B. So I will draw an area of interest here for bar B and I will draw an area of interest for bar H. Calculating time to first fixations is very simple in Blickshift Analytics. I go to the AOI editor, make a right click, say analysis, gaze statistics. I change here the format and we only want to focus on bar B and bar H and only on the first four uh, on the first five participants. In this table now we can see different eye tracking metrics for bar B and bar H. And one metric is the time to first fixation. So what does now time to first fixation mean in this case? For bar B time to first fixation for P1 is greater than the time to first fixation for bar H. So these are milliseconds. We can see the same behavior for, bar, uh, for participant P2 and P3. P4 now shows the inverted behavior. So here bar B has been focused on earlier for the first time than bar H. And P5 has the same behavior then again like P1, P2 and P3. So for better understanding now what is going on here, we will use an animated scan path. I'm going to, uh, I go to the time to first fixation data source, make a right click, say visualizations, line graph. And to this window, to this dashboard window, I will add the scan path visualization. We will choose task B and we want to compare now P1 and P4. So I activate P4 here as well. I aggregate. So we will show the two participants in the same visualization. We make a little window arrangement here and I zoom out. And now we can go through the experiment. We remember that for P1 the time to first fixation for bar H is smaller and for P4 the time to first fixation for bar B is smaller. So this AOI here, so bar H, has been focused on earlier by this participant than bar B and we have the inverted behavior um, for P4. And this is something we should see now in the scan path visualization as well. So I'm going now through the experiment. So we have here the time axis 100 milliseconds, 200 milliseconds and so on. And we can see that P1, so the blue scan path, goes to bar H at first and then P4, so the orange scan path, goes to bar B at first. 
And with the time to first fixation, we can see now which areas of interest has been focused on for the first time. And this metric gives us the time for this fixation. Since numbers are difficult to read, we can also visualize these numbers with a diagram. And this works as follows. I go to the Gaze Statistics node. I make a right click, say Visualizations, Diagram. And then um, I choose here the time to first fixation as a metric. I select all the participants and I aggregate them. And here we can see the visualization of the Gaze Statistics column um, time to first fixation. And what we can see is that the time to first fixation for bar H is smaller for P1, P2 and P3 and P5. And in case of P4, we have the inverted behavior. So here the um, bar H time to first fixation value is greater than um, for um, the bar B time to first fixation. Besides visualizing the time to first fixation values in Blickshift Analytics, you can also export this data for a later statistical analysis. So I go to Gaze Statistics here in the workflow to the node and I make a right click, say Output, Export to Files. And here I enter the directory TTF CSV for the file name. I'm only interested in exporting the AOI names and the time to first fixations. And I want to export everything into one single file, for example. So I make here the check and then I say, OK. So five data tables have been exported successfully now. So this is the result of the export a classical CSV file for the AOIs, time to first fixation, the scenario and the participant. So we have two data lines for each participant for the one for bar B and bar H together with the time to first fixation values. If you like this video, please press the like button, subscribe to our channel, share it with your community and I'm looking forward to see you in the next video.